Hi everybody, welcome to another career tutorial. I'm Crightman. What we're going to do this time through is we're going to make some sci-fi elements in a uh, uh, for background noise in a sci-fi scene. Uh, let's go ahead and drop a spline object in our scene and get started. And before we do anything, let's go ahead and bring this down to one grid square width. That's good. Let's go ahead and face the front. And let's start making some squares. First of all, push shift and drag and you'll have a perfect square in your scene. Now uh, let's go ahead and take a rectangle start connecting these guys. And one of the one of the things that kinda sells a sci-fi scene is uh, the interconnectivity between the elements in the background or the elements. Uh, they're normally connected to each other via a lot of straight lines. That kind of sells a sci-fi scene. See that? Now to sell the tiling part of it, what you want to do, uh, really? Grr. Take that up one. Come on, baby. Come on. There we go. And then go back over there. And what you want to do is kind of, um, we're going to tile this. So what we want are elements that continue on one side or the other. Let's go ahead and take a look at what we got so far. Let's go ahead and center our hot point. Zero. And let's take a look at what we got. See that? That looks pretty good. But check this out. You, you put a replicator on it. And you're really going to be doing things. Tap replicator. Drop it in your scene. And before we do anything, let's go ahead and make our... Uh, the way we see it as a mesh. And let's add our elements. Spline object. Kapow. And you notice that it's tiled weird. Let's go ahead and fix that. Uh, let's bring this up to, we don't need a whole bunch. Three by three by, yikes, by one. And let's say, take a look at what we got. This is with our grid. Come on, baby. There we go. This is with our grid. What's up? Let's make this invisible. And see that? That looks kind of cool, but you can do better than that. What you can do in a in a if you want to get to where you're going in a quick way, do auto grid. Now check this out. See how everything looks connected and and that fun fun stuff. Let's go ahead and uh, do one other thing here. Let's go ahead and tap seamless. Zero. And now everything looks kind of not so random, kind of connected. And you can you can add other things to it to uh, uh, other other rectangles on it to kind of complicate the scene just a little bit more. But you don't want too much complication because eventually it just looks like, you know, noise, replicated noise too, if you get too many of them. Um, yeah, let's do something else too. Let's go ahead and push uh, duplicate by pushing Command D and then bring this in the background. And now let's create a new master. And let's, let me show you what I'm talking about in that being too complicated. Actually, this is going to look okay, I think. Take the seamless off of it, and now you have a completely different element in the background to offset the first part. And see, that actually looks kind of cool. Uh, it can look cooler, though, I think. Kapow. There we go. And there you go. 
And so you can just keep doing that forever and ever and ever. One thing that kind of helps sell your sci-fi scenes is uh, is shadow. So make sure that your lighting is is interesting, and uh, it helps make make your interesting shapes a little more interesting. You see how that works. So um, let's go ahead and do one other thing here, and we're going to e edit the master. And I'm kind of worried that this is going to crash on me. Let's see if it does. Uh, oh, what am I doing? Sections, create, kapow. And we're going to throw a little bit of bevel on it. Let's do that. Do that. And there you go. And see how there's like little lines in there that straight lines straight lines here's here's a little secret that I've finally found out about industrial scenes and science uh, anything that where there's technical aspects to it uh, straight lines sell it uh, straight lines and interconnectivity those are the things that sell something industrial or you know if you want to make it look functional you throw a little bit of a bevel on there and it bevels every element in there and it and it looks really good one other thing I can show you just before we take off, if it doesn't fr if it doesn't freeze on me, this this little process right here has a has a tendency to freeze sometimes. So, uh, yeah, edit the master. Let's go ahead and drag everything together, group it. Let's go to our previous section. All group it. And now, let's grab one of these. Oh, where's it at? Let's go to the next section. There we go. That's where we want to be. Take that bad boy. Actually, that'd probably, that's probably a cooler shape. Everything's cool there. And now, if we draw everything together, Range minus compound. Now you have other elements in your scene. See that? I mean, that's not pretty. <laughs> that should have been actually have been a square. It would have been a lot better. You know what? Let's uh, let's not end on something weird like that. Let's go ahead and Command Z. Let's do that. Oh, nope. Kapow, kapow, and a little square, put that there, arrange, combine this compound, there you go, that's a little more pretty. Now I'm pretty for a low res render, but anyway, you can, you can go on and on with this, this, this can, this can just go on and on. Uh, keep this in mind for, if you need pipes in the background, if you need, if you need uh, trusses, if you need whatever, whatever you need, your spline model is there for you to help you get that done. So anyway, that's it for this time. I'm Kripe Man, and I'll talk to you again later.